Over the last 10 to 15 years, the value of DVDs has nosedived. The US chain Best Buy recently announced plans to phase out DVD and even Blu-ray discs by early 2024. The opposite is currently happening though for one Doctor Who DVD release whose value has gone through the roof. To be precise, this Doctor Who DVD release. So why is this happening and what does this phenomenon tell us about the true value of physical media? The story began for me when I was making my most recent video about the arrival of the Hooniverse. 800 episodes of classic Doctor Who and post-millennial Doctor Who and loads of other stuff arriving on iPlayer. I'll link to that video at the end of this one and also down in the video description. Despite the amazing bounty that the Hooniverse gifts us BBC license payers, it's really unfortunate that the first ever Doctor Who serial, An Unearthly Child, is currently caught up in legal wrangles and so can't join all its brothers and sisters there in the Hooniverse. By the way, there are a few other legal ways to still see An Unearthly Child via streaming. I'll let you know what those are later. Now, An Unearthly Child has yet to be released as part of the BBC's Doctor Who The Collection Blu-ray box set series because the series hasn't got to the first ever season yet and of course the current legal situation begs the question of exactly when that is likely to happen. So, the most recent physical media release of An Unearthly Child was this box set, which was released an astonishing 17 years ago in 2006. This set gathers together Doctor Who's first three stories ever. An Unearthly Child, The Daleks, and The Edge of Destruction. So what kind of bearing has the current legal situation with An Unearthly Child had on this box set? I went to Amazon UK first to have a look. The actual UK beginning box set doesn't seem to be available. I don't know what this is all about. From £169.95, I can't actually see anything available to buy even at that price. If we click on this one, the 2012 box set, we see an American box set. When we go back and click on this one in the middle, we see another American box set, which is also rather expensive, but no sign of the UK set that we're after. Let's try a good old fashioned bricks and mortar shop. Just nipping into my local HMV to have a look for an unearthly child. There's quite a few of them about. Sadly, the HMV near me, HMV Brighton, has drastically reduced its stock of classic Doctor Who DVDs. But as you can see here, the beginning is very much not among them. I imagine any sets that HMV did have were quickly snapped up when news got around of the scarcity of an unearthly child. So how much is the beginning box set selling for on eBay UK at the moment? First let me show you how much the set was selling for just about a couple of weeks ago. Yes you could buy this for £6.99 and that includes delivery. And here we can see that the entire beginning box set sold for £8 delivered. Now however post Hooniverse the asking price has multiplied by 10 with the most optimistic seller asking for £79.99. Even when you take into account that the most a buyer has so far paid for the box set is about 50 quid, that's still one heck of a markup. The laws of supply and demand have very much kicked in. If you're wondering whether the price of the Unearthly Child VHS has been affected by all of this, then the answer is actually no. Doctor Who VHS remains as dirt cheap as ever. So obviously this is a very unfortunate story and we're all hoping that the situation with an Unearthly Child will be resolved ASAP. But what does this tell us about the value of physical media generally perceived to be going through the floor? Let me tell you three things that this story tells us about physical media. Once you own this box, Set, you can watch an unearthly child whenever you like regardless of what kind of lawsuits and legal tussles may go down. Once you own this box set you can watch an unearthly child whenever you like regardless of what your broadband connection decides to do. Lastly once you own this box set you also get a whole bunch of extras that have yet to appear on any streaming service. Now as anyone who's seen this channel before will know I'm a physical media kind of guy. My collection stretches all the way from VHS to 4k discs. I do watch Netflix and Amazon Prime and Shudder almost as much as the next person. But when it comes to stuff that I really, really love, some kind of preservationist instinct kicks in. An instinct that wants to make sure that I can watch the stuff I love whenever I like. Arguably, connectivity is overrated. This box set is not connected to anything but itself. Sure, I might need electricity in order to be able to play it, but no outside forces have any kind of influence over it. Especially when it's still sealed. <laughs> Hmm, wonder how much a sealed version is uh, going for on eBay. Just kidding. And I also want the special features that tend to be jam-packed into Doctor Who releases and also genre releases from the likes of Arrow Films and 88 Films. So as much as the big streaming services might offer us convenience and a constant supply of new material, I think we should keep on buying the collection box sets and probably keep hold of our DVDs. Because the big streamers are not only prone to external legal interventions, but to having their own disturbingly fickle whim 
limbs. For instance, anyone who wants to watch Disney's 2022 Willow series now finds they literally cannot see it anywhere. Disney screened that first eight-part series, then axed the show and removed it from their platform for cost-cutting measures. I mean, what? For me, all of this serves as a really important reminder of the truth about electronic media. Regardless of whether we're renting access to E anything or buying it, the likelihood is that this stuff will not belong to us forever. So with that kind of strong opinion in mind, do I feel hypocritical for being a horror author who has merrily sold ebooks to readers for a good 10 years now? Hmm, maybe. But I do have actual books available, and in fact, I finally made one of my most terrifying stories available in this paperback edition. Link in video description, but let's get back to Doctor Who DVDs, because, putting aside the threat of disc rot, the beginning will be on my shelves forever. As will the underwater menace, this little beauty which just arrived today as I was trying to wrap up this video. Let me know if you want it covered on the channel. Let me quickly show you three places online where you can still stream An Unearthly Child. ITVX, which is the new home of Britbox. You can buy it as individual episodes at the Apple Store, and you can also buy it as either individual episodes or the whole serial at Amazon Prime Video. In comments, I want to hear your thoughts on physical media and how much of it you plan to keep hold of, especially in the light of events like this situation with An Unearthly Child. If you need to catch up with my exploration of the Hooniverse, then you can watch that video here. And here's my playlist of videos in which I took a real deep dive into Doctor Who on the BritBox platform. Thanks so much for watching, and do not forget to embrace your obsession.